but I'm going to be late for work. Um, I didn't really have anything to steal, so it's not that big of a deal, but I will have to get the window fixed. So, right. not that great. <laughs> It's a story we first broke early this morning when Fargo police told us at least eight cars were broken into in the 3300 block of 16th Avenue South. A witness gave police a description of the vehicle and the suspects around two this morning. And when police later stopped that car, they found multiple stolen items inside. They arrested Chancellor Lewis and Hannah Dahl of Dilworth for unlawful entry into vehicles. Police also arrested a 16-year-old boy, but he was later released to his parents. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley talked with a victim this morning who didn't just have her car broken into, but stolen altogether. It's really sad because you go to work and you try really hard to provide for your family and own a car and have a place to live and then for someone just to take that away it's not okay she thought her morning was starting out with a prank from her boyfriend when he asked her for the garage door opener so he could start her car when i said no it's parked outside i thought he was like playing a game like he put my car inside last night and came downstairs and it was gone but after talking with a neighbor who came out to her car window shattered Brittany knew it was more than just a joke they were obviously digging pretty hard and then that's when I'm guessing they must have found a key or something and took off. At least eight other cars from her apartment complex looked something like this early this morning. But Brittany's car is the only one that was stolen. Another girl told me that her keys were in it. They didn't take hers, so I don't know why. Like my boyfriend's car wasn't touched, so I guess they just went around picking and choosing which cars they wanted to go into and what to do with them. She says she only had some ice skates in her son's car seat inside, but is now anxiously playing the waiting game. Hopefully they'll just leave it in a parking lot somewhere and I can just get it back that way. Otherwise, figure out what to do, ways to get to work, bring my son to daycare. In Fargo. I mean, it's just not fair. Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live. Brittany's car is a 2013 Hyundai Sonata. It's not completely clear whether more than eight cars were broken into. If you were a victim in this, police want you to report it by calling dispatch. That phone number is 451-7660.